April 29th, 2023, I have a visitation from Father. And in this visitation, my room has God's Shekinah in there. And in this, he starts showing me his judgment weapons like Jesus did. When Jesus came and the angels were with him, but Jesus, that was mainly him showing me his judgment weapons, which are all silver. And by the way, the last video I said they were brass knuckles. That's the only way I could describe them, but they were all silver. Everything of Jesus' weapons and armor are silver, and the gold armor is from Father. Like all the children, all of us wear Father's gold armor because we are his children so I'm just letting you know that, okay? I was shown a weapon like this, and Father is so kind. Like, I, he showed me the side on his left side of his belt, this, this judgment etch of his right here. And it had a red dot in the middle, and it was all gold glowing. And then it comes apart where it goes into five of those. So there's five of these. And these five, when he when he has them on, just like Jesus is on his left hand, each one of those goes on each finger so that he etches a demon or a person. When a person sins so bad um, and is repented, and when, this is why they go to hell, you literally turned into a demon. But you're in human form. You are not of God no more. You actually, your soul, turned into a demon. So, th this is what it looked like with the gold. But the, the red was in the middle. And then each one came apart. And it goes on your finger like that. And then I was shown this. I mean, this, this glowed. Now imagine you have Father God being so patient, so kind, so beautiful, and he allowed me to see his hair again, all perfectly white, and he has a beautiful white beard and mustache, just beautiful, and all his hair white goes all the way to the center and where it covers the neck, just like Jesus's covers the neck, and Jesus has a full beard. When Jesus is in his glory, it's all white curly that's what that's about but he shows me this so, this um sword this is i see a huge glowing gold sword and then it has like this skull on it with these black eyes and these black teeth and it's a huge like dagger very pointy like that and then he showed me that that crescent type sword that came like through that. So when he battles, I'll tell you what what happens with that. And that is a double a double judgment sword on you. And it went through that, but it comes apart. Like he'll take it and he pulls it apart and slays them. And so he was showing me that in the room. But then he showed me um, this is called the secret sword and it had his Shekinah all over it but he allowed me to see the sword with the Shekinah on it and only exposed the stones and that's what it looked like except the the stones there was like one on top one on the bottom and on each side and it the stones were round and they were red like that they were round though but more cabochon I was not allowed to see that sword. Father was so nice, calm. I mean, you just feel like that's your father. I've never in my life felt so much peace, happiness, and joy from him being there with me. Um, all of this, and then he shows me his um this is what he said to me after he showed me this he said father's going hunting so then i was shown a beautiful cord all even all the way around this cord where you can pull it this way and it tightens up in the middle but then he said 
that with this cord, it obeys his will. So it will move out and open back up again, and then he can pull it tight again. And on the ends, has like this beautiful like gold cap on the end of it. And I'll show you what it what it kind of looks like. Now you got to picture it all gold. And he had me draw that, and he was so patient. And he showed me just like this. Imagine this being, you're in your room, and God the Father has a Shekinah cloud, and you can kind of see like. His hair, he's like exposing his hair and different parts of him to you. And so he's, he's like with a, with a cord like this. And, and his hand is, you're in your room and this is like before you, this gold cord. And he's showing me this, this metal obeys my will. And then he pulled it like that. And then it came apart at his own will. And then he told me, Father's going hunting um, and he told me what this weapon does this judgment weapon this is for um, a judgment on people that turned demon like again he explained to me in my room real kind when people sin so bad and it there is no other way they will never go to heaven no matter how hard Jesus begged them, they chose Satan. They literally chose Satan. They they don't want God. They love Satan. And this is what will happen to him. He even was so kind enough to show me on a demon what how it works. So then he takes this black demon and, and it has no hair and he and it puts over the head and then he pulls it tight like this in slow motion like that and it just pops the head off and disintegrates it and those are judgment marks around the neck now he didn't get into great detail of what the pain they will feel in hell and i don't blame him so then he had me draw it like this see that head it goes over their neck and then he explained to me and had me write down what that does. And then he showed me him doing that spiritual warfare outside, like like Jesus showed me what he, he did out there with the spiritual warfare, with his, um, his judgment etches on him, with demons. I mean, these are huge demons. And imagine Father God is outside showing me, like, like Jesus... And he's so beautiful, like Jesus with the warfare. And he's like, with all that on his hand, and he does it that fast, on a demon. And then the, that, that crescent sword with that, and he has that. And you could just see those in his hands. And he has his, his gold armor all on, and you can see his white sleeves. And I'm just getting peaks with his um, Shekinah cloud as he is tearing up demons. And it's like a um, the most beautiful martial art dance ever and he doesn't wear a helmet and neither does Jesus why and so this is what he said he is man he is God he is creator of man men should never cover their head or shave their head or their sides or their edges they should never have a bald head if your hair falls out there's nothing you can do but he says that is the glory of God the hair and like Jesus is the glory of the hair like men don't have this women took it away he told me this women took away father's glory of a man when they step forward to try to be boss of a family that there's no family unit no more. But when he was battling, his it, it when when that sword and with the one with the skull and the go together, he puts it together wherever it goes in is like a double judgment and that is going to be very painful in hell and in the great lake of fire you will feel those forever but he was doing it like this and, and and it was like a dance and he was grabbing those off everything off of his belt and it was just 
and he, and he was spinning around and he has his gold cape. Father has a gold cape. And when I seen him, he just spins around and this cape and then his hair is just so beautiful. The masculinity that you feel from your father, that your father is your protector, there is no other hero besides him and Jesus that it's mind-blowing to see them operate on your behalf as that's your father and you're his child and you feel so protected but he said he's going hunting and then after about an hour of that, me just staring at him. I mean, really, how could you not just stare at your father? And it was wonderful. You marveled, just like I marveled with Jesus. It was a sight to to see. His cape is so beautiful. His hair is so beautiful. And then, like, sometimes he would spin around, and I would capture what his eye color is. Very beautiful blue. The same blue as in the dagger I received from him that Jesus gave to me. God is so nice and so beautiful. And he's our father. And then he came in my room again from outside after he showed me how he... These demons, there was like so many shredded up. I mean, it was uncountable. That's all you guys don't really realize if you had your spirit eyes pulled back and you could see, you would be in shock and fear of them. But God's right there for you to call upon him to warfare for you. But this is a different type of thing I'm being shown. I'm being showed by Jesus, his judgment etches. These are judgments and these are judgments from eternal father then he came into the room and then he spoke and it reminds you know his shekinah is all around him and he said this he showed me an open vision kevin mccarthy and that's what he said the, the name kevin mccarthy his face was all puffed up and like the ash and there was um on the side of Kevin McCarthy's face. It was facing the wrong way to the left. So, judgment. Then I was shown two other people from Congress. I was shown their face, like this ash color, but they never repented and turned back. So, that judgment will fall on them. So, let me recant about Kevin McCarthy. He right now is this ash color. When you're like this ash color, a judgment is about to come on you and is coming on you. Because these people are not repenting. Then I seen Vicky puffed up face and the same thing with the ash like this. The, the, the head was up like this and so that was like to the left. They're not doing God's work. So yeah, that's a judgment. That is a judgment from God. God doesn't physically leave the throne room to stand there and waste his breath or his time for me to just feel, oh, sorry for someone. If I don't let these people know what this is and, and they don't go repent and stop what they're doing, then that that's judgment. Then he said this, Vicky is puffed up. She's in the same category as Kevin McCarthy. Then he made this statement, and he said this real calm, real lovingly, and said, Vicky's food has four jars, and then he showed me four jars. And then um, I looked at the jars, and they were all poison, and they were glass jars with just poison in them. Then he said, Satan has infiltrated, and then he made these statements, and there question mark and there with a comma at the end and there period and that's how he made those statements and there and there and there and that's about what it was and he had me write it just like that then he said it's a disappointment of what 
he seen mixing with demons, people believing they are married to God. Women are not to have a ministry or any ministries. It is written. And no public money. God is not a monetary gain. And um, then he said, these are Heavenly Father's statements and truth. Audibly and physically in my room telling me these truths. For all that are listening to this, truth of our Lord and God, the Father Almighty. And that was his statement. He did tell me, after he was done making those statements, about women in ministry, that was supposed to be for men. Women have took God's glory of the first creation, man, and became to a little bit masculine. It was supposed to be a man's office, not a woman's. Women were supposed to be like um, um, Mary Magdalene. Um, they were, and I'll tell you exactly what they were. Um, I'll read this to you. This is right here. Reading through scripture, a few passages stand out that directly speak to the role of women in church. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 3-12, three through 12, chapter 14, 34-35, 1 Timothy chapter 2, 11-15, and Titus 1, 2. These passages are the foundation for the conclusion that women cannot be lead pastors. You cannot be a lead pastor of a church. It has to be a man. Now, now like with Jesus and Mary Magdalene and what they did, they actually stepped behind the man and you're supposed to be a submissive woman. We're not that culture no more. And a lot of women are going to get mad with your liberality and God says it is written and he he doesn't lie. So, um, this is how it says Luke chapter 8, 3 through 1 through 3 lists three women who followed Jesus along with the disciples, Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Sus Susanna. Women also played a pivotal role in the early church, serving as deaconesses, funding ministry efforts, and opening their homes to Paul and other apostles. Do you, do you, are you getting it now? They were just be off to the side and serve as deaconesses, not as the ministers. They were supposed, you're supposed to have men doing this. God said that women have worn down men to the point of he don't even see a true man anymore in, in, ahead of his household. There are not too many men that are ahead of their household because women have lost their position and that's from the father that's a god's honest truth and that's what he said this is a very important part about father's um judgment etch that in the center is that red dot and michael the archangel when Father showed me that, and I, I asked, what is that? And um, Michael the Archangel said, it's the Rose of Sharon. And it has a red dot in it, not diamonds. It has a red dot, Father's Judgment Etch, that he puts on all his fingers to etch up the demons and judge them and put his judgment markings on them. And um, for anyone who wants to say that I have not seen the Father... And that I'm a liar. You will be judged for that too. For who were people seeing when Jesus came to this earth? Who did the disciples see? The Father. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me have seen the Father, and how sayest thou then, show us the Father? The only reason why we're allowed to see Father now is because Jesus came here. 
so the Father will show his self to whom he may please at his own will. And for you to call me a liar, people, you're going to be judged by the Father. God can't bring joy to his children because of people that are false teachers that you think that I don't see the Father and I don't see Jesus so that you discourage people seeking out his face. Is it not wrote, seek out my face and I will show them myself and you're calling me a false teacher read your scripture you are hindering God's children for experiencing him and I'm trying to bring to everyone that you could have this same experience 